What is going on you guys welcome back to another video and to the channel so it has been about 5,000 miles since i last did an oil change on the f30 behind me here so it is time to do another one and for this video specifically i'm not really going to be doing you know a step-by-step -step diy guide i've already done that on the f30 and on my e90 so if you want like a step-by-step -step guide i'll link down a couple of videos for the e90 and the f30 where i go more in depth on like a diy style but for this video i am going to be showing myself doing an oil change but not really in depth but mainly i wanted to show you guys and discuss with you guys how you can do free oil changes on your bmw through fcp euros lifetime guarantee warranty um, little policy they have which is really cool for those of you who may not know fcp euro is a website that has all sorts of parts for all sorts of european cars i've been using that website for all of the maintenance parts that i've needed to replace on my bmws I've been buying from their site for pretty much four years now since I first bought the E90. So for the longest time, about three and a half years, I always thought that a lifetime guarantee warranty from FCP Euro only applied to actual physical solid parts like, you know, a thermostat, water pump, brake discs, brake pads, stuff like that. I did not know it applied to fluids, particularly oil changes. So I actually just learned this pretty recently that you can use this lifetime guarantee warranty with your oil change kits that you buy from FCP Euro. I've just been buying individual oil change kits over and over again, not really utilizing this policy when I could have just um, used that oil that I bought from FCP Euro. And once I changed the oil and put the new oil in and drained the oil, the oil I could have sent it back to FCP Euro and gotten a refund 
um, since it counts as a lifetime guarantee warranty and pretty much have gotten all of my last you know 20 oil changes for free um, so yeah I kind of missed out there but this time I'm going to use this and I'm going to show you guys how you guys can use this too so you don't make the same mistake as me uh, with your oil changes you can save a little bit of money here so like I said the way this works is you have to buy an oil change kit from FCP Euro so if you've never bought an oil change kit and it's your very first time you have to buy one first and you know change your oil put the new oil in and then when it comes time around for your next oil change you can buy another kit from FCP Euro and put that oil in and then the oil from the previous oil change you can uh, pour it back into the containers that contain the new second order of oil and you can you know, box it up in the same exact box that the second order came in and then ship it back to them. And then once they receive your package with the old oil and they check that it's not leaking and that you in fact did buy an oil change kit previously, they will refund you the full amount for the second oil change kit. So you essentially get that second oil change for free and then you can just continuously do this for all of your oil changes over the, you know, the life of your ownership of whatever car you're using. So yeah, I think that's pretty awesome. I am kind of disappointed that I didn't, you know, learn that sooner. I'm barely just learning this now. So yeah, I'm hoping to save you guys some money by showing you guys this in this video. So first I'm gonna go ahead and do an oil change on the F30 with the kit I have already purchased from FCP Euro. And then I'm gonna go into the details of, you know, doing the return process and, you know, getting everything done so that I can get the refund. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this oil change done and show you guys a little montage of how exactly I do my oil changes.
are you guys so I completed the oil change as you guys saw and you guys also saw I repackaged the old oil in the uh, new containers that had the new oil um, from what I can tell FCP Euro is pretty picky and like strict on how you ship the oil back they want it inside the bag so this is the bag that the new oil came in along with that bag so I just reused those bags and reused the new containers so the old oil that just came out is in those two containers along with the old oil filter in there and the two gaskets and the crusher washer since that is everything that comes with the kit um, I just made sure I have all of the parts that come in the original kit that way they have everything they have the old oil and everything is you know sealed and protected just in case it leaks if the oil ends up leaking during shipping back to them there's a chance they may not give you your refund um, so yeah just be aware of that try your best to package and seal this thing so that it doesn't leak and make sure all the caps are tight and all that so you minimize uh, the possibility of that happening so in addition to having it in the original bags I am going to be putting these in the original box that the new oil kit came in and then resealing it, retaping it, and then shipping uh, all of this in that box back to them. So now I'm gonna go ahead and head back into the garage so I can put this back in the box and tape that up and then go on my computer so I can show you guys exactly what you need to fill out uh, and do on their website so you can you know, begin the process of doing the return and the lifetime warranty guarantee so you can get the refund. All right, so here I am on the FCP Euro website and I've logged into my account and I recommend you create an account before you do any of this so that FCP Euro saves all of your orders and you can easily do like the return process and the lifetime warranty guarantee process. It just makes everything easier so I recommend creating an account if you don't have one already. So I'm on my account and if you go over to FAQ, frequently asked questions and go down and then go to lifetime replacement guarantee there's a little section here for how do I return oil. You click that and it kind of tells you what you need to do, which I already explained to you guys. You know, once you've purchased your first oil change kit that you bought and are ready for the second one, and you go to do the second oil change, you know, save the old oil from the first kit that you purchased, and then, you know, package everything like just like how I showed you. And then here it says, then go to the returns page to browse the directions, FAQ and R and file the RMA by clicking the Submit Lifetime Guarantee Replacement to return the first kit for a refund against the second kit. If you checked out as a guest, you won't be able to file a return in the portal, so please fill out and include this printable return form here. If you didn't do that, there's a link there. But it just makes everything easier, like I said, if you just have an account because it saves, it saves all of your orders and all that. And there it also gives more directions. Please also package the oil in either the old oil containers or the new oil containers then place inside a plastic bag to prevent leaks along with your return form. So I'm gonna go ahead and go here to the returns page and then we go to submit lifetime guarantee replacement. And then as you can see here, it has all of my orders over the last like three, four years. And going to one of my old orders, let's see where it's where's that right here um, I'm gonna use this one as an example here so there's the sec pretend this is the second oil change kit that I purchased and then the first one is down here February 8th so you can see I bought two kits here so what I would be doing is filing a return for this specific oil change kit against this one with this oil from this kit so that I can get a refund for this order here. So what you need to do is click or click all of these, like all of the things that were in the kit and then select your reason, lifetime replacement. And then here you'd put the order number from the second oil change up here, right there. You put that in the box here. And then lastly, you just put your VIN right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the order number from this order over here. So now I've entered the order number from the second oil change kit that I purchased. And then I would simply go ahead and put my VIN up here. So now that I have my VIN number up there, I have selected lifetime replacement and have put in the second order for the second oil change. You then go to the bottom here and press accept and continue. 
Once you click accept and continue, this form will appear in a separate tab and it shows all of your information and the order that you are returning and all this and gives you, you know, more directions right here. So the last step would be to print this form and put it inside the box with the old oil that you are shipping back to them so that you can get the refund. And that is now the last step you would do on the website. So I have printed the form here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and package up the old oil inside this box here along with this form and then tape everything up. So I have the box all taped up and packaged up and ready to be shipped. Now I did want to mention that you are going to have to purchase a shipping label most likely. You can either buy one at whichever shipping courier you choose, so FedEx, UPS, USPS. You could either go to one of their stores and just buy a shipping label in store or you can go online and purchase a shipping label there and then you'd have to print it out and then tape it to the outside of the box and then you could simply drop it off at the office or whichever shipping location you choose. I'm gonna go ahead and purchase a shipping label online so that I can just simply drop it off and not have to do anything in store. So yeah, that is something you'd have to pay for. It's probably going to be anywhere from 10 to $20 depending on your location and how far you are from uh, FCP Euro's uh, factory or warehouse address which is right there in Connecticut. I'm in California so it's probably going to be on the more expensive side since it is across the country from me. If you're closer to them it probably won't be as expensive so it just depends where you're shipping out from. So like I mentioned the last couple of steps to complete this process is to get a shipping label either from uh, in store from whichever shipping courier you choose or from online and then have them ship it out. And then once they ship it out, you just simply wait until FCP Euro receives the package. And then once they open the box and check that everything is in order and nothing is leaking or anything, they will then credit you the amount you paid for the first order, which uh, these oil change kits, well, at least for mine, they usually cost around $65. So they should credit you the exact amount of the first order. And then you have essentially gotten your free oil change. Now this process could take uh, up to a week. It just depends on you know the shipping times and um, all the orders that FCP Euro is currently processing at the time. So it just depends. It should take about a week, maybe a few days, just depending, like I said. So yeah, guys, that completes the process uh, for getting uh, a free oil change on your BMW through FCP Euro's lifetime warranty guarantee uh, policy. Uh, I think this is pretty awesome. I really wish I would have learned about this sooner because like I said, I didn't know for the last like three years, I thought it only applied to physical parts, not fluids. So hopefully you guys will take advantage of this and save a bit of money on maintenance for your BMW since these cars are not cheap to maintain as we all know. Uh, but for those of you, you know, starting out, uh, you just got your BMW, or maybe some of you also didn't know, and now you guys know. Hopefully this helps you guys out uh, in, you know, saving money, like I said. Now, this is another reason to get in the habit of doing your own maintenance on your BMW, because then you can take advantage of this. If you always have a shop do it, then you probably won't be able to do this. You don't have the tools or whatever, I understand. Uh, but it does help if you do this stuff yourself, because then you can take advantage of things like these. Uh, so yeah, guys, that is is pretty much it uh, like I said hopefully this helped some of you guys who are just starting out or uh, are planning to get a BMW I feel like this is a pretty cool thing to be aware of uh, because it is very helpful if you know how to work on cars it could save you a ton of money especially when you're trying to take care of a BMW since these cars like I said are not cheap to maintain parts are pretty expensive compared to regular you know like Toyota's Honda's Japanese cars 
So yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions or if you guys have any comments, feel free to comment them down below the video. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Follow me on Instagram at e 90 hallenby if you guys want to chat with me or DM me or anything directly. Also check out my website at inline6auto for mods for your E90 or F30. Also feel free to subscribe if you guys like what you saw in this video. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.